Hey guys, and welcome to my next new side let's play. I've done Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, I've done two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. The next one that was picked is now going to be the final of the NES trilogy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. So, this is probably one of the better one of the best ones of, of the three that people have seen. I want to pick my favorite turtle. Uh, but, okay, here's the story. The turtles are enjoying their vacation on a beach in Florida. When suddenly... Come on, April's report is just about to start. Here in New York, crime is escalating every day. Hey, what happened? Bummer, dudes, this shredder. And he turns Manhattan into an island. Turn off. I'm taking April along with Manhattan Island. If you want them back, come and get them. All right, so the first level. Since we were on the uh, scene one, let's go, Turtles. The start of a long, hard battle is beginning. Well, as we were on the beach, you're starting on the beach. There's a new uh, grab ability. Grab a uh, grab thing you can do. So you just push down and B. It makes it so much easier to get through a lot of these hordes of enemies. And the thing about this game is compared to some of the other ones, um, if you die, you can switch out turtles. But they all play about the same, so you don't have to worry about it too much. There we go. There's more mindless beat em up action. This game's actually really hard, too. It's harder. And you still have your jump kicks and drop kicks and everything like that. The little, the uh, orange ones here, throw sand at you. So, am I going to do Turtles, in, Turtles 4? You bet your ass I am. Turtles 4 is really great, too. Right. So, all right, pizza. Be careful, some of these signs will want to fall down, so just be careful with them. I'm gonna stick with Mikey. This game's relatively short. It's shorter than the other ones, so this, this game really shouldn't take me too long. If you know what you're doing, you can beat this game in under an hour. 
that we don't mess up. Of course, you can fall into those holes, so. But yeah, I am definitely going to do. Are we having fun yet? Hey! I just wanted to do that so I won't have to fall into so I won't fall into the holes again. Boss time. And of course it's This rock steady. It should be almost dead. There we go. Can't believe I lost two lives on the first level. Is I load P. Okay. So I needed to know. All right, at least I got an extra life. All right, so scene two. Carabunga Zoo, let's ride the wave back to Manhattan. So now it's a certain level. More the same. I think we got some helicopters to fight in this level. With our, those things are always annoying. But now we're wild. Oh yeah, these guys right here, you just gotta time it. So you don't get hit by them. I think you can knock them out of the air if you're uh, if you're skilled enough. I'm not saying I'm skilled enough, but I think you can knock them out of the air if you're skilled enough. This part right here, we just kind of like stay in the corner. You should be able to get through, no problem. The helicopters might be thinking of uh, turtles in time. Oh, yeah, I know. I am definitely thinking of the helicopters. These things are annoying. But one thing is it's hard to line up to get a hit on them. It's hard to get out a hit on them, but I think we got through it, so. All right, so it's still phase two, or level two, but now we're on like a submarine.
jump kick that thing enough the time so you can... You can break it. Alright, I need, I really need some pe peace. Peace is really hard to come by in this game. Alright, there's one of them. There we go. Can it get behind it? There we go. Oh god, more! Right, if you, that's if you passed him. I think the next boss is coming up, which I think is Bebop. All right, introduction to the uh, white ones, which are just, they just got swords. And the light blue ones throw swords. Yep, it's Bebop. So basically, Bebop's actually kind of easy. It'll just kind of charge at you. Then it'll get a little harder as he throws this off of you. It'll get a little bit harder as he uh, swing, starts swinging this at you. Stay away from him when he does that, and he'll eventually start going back to this. And then just, that'll be the best time to hit him. Again, so you go left, right, left. One, two, three. I've almost got him.
One, two, three. There we go. Woo! Then I got an extra life. Sweet. All right, so we get our first little cutscene. We're heading to the Manhattan, the bridge, the bridge. So we're going to end it here. When we come back, we're going to do step three. Watch your step along the bridge of danger. So when we come back, we're going to take care of that and see if we'll continue on. Uh, on Let's Play Teenage Mutant Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. This is DKS3, The Casey Gamer.